Hello? This better be about hiding a dead body, otherwise I don't want to know from you. What? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm calling from the Walmart. I was calling about your cactus. It's ready. My what? I'm sorry, who, who is this? My name is Leonora. Oh, hey, Leonora. It's it's uh, Roy from the Walmart. Your cactus is ready. Okay, that's Hello? great. Hello? Is there two Hello? people? Are there two people Who's on this? the I, I'm calling from the Walmart. Is there two people on the line? I'm a little confused here. There shouldn't be. This is my, my house phone. Okay, I don't know who that is, but you've reached Leonora. I, no, you have not. I am Leonora. So I don't know who the hell you are, but I don't appreciate you ma'am. impersonating me. I, I'm not impersonating anyone. You're impersonating me. What are you doing on my phone line? I no, this called... is my phone line. Give me your date of birth then, honey. Look, I don't know who either. I, I'm just calling for Leonora about the cactus it's at Walmart. It's it's ready. You can come pick it up whenever you're ready. So which, I didn't whichever... order a cactus. I ordered which, the cactus which, because which I'm the real. Which Walmart is this? I'm the real Leonora. I ordered no, the cactus. No, you're not. Wait, what are you? No, t- you're not. Ma'am, wait, maybe we just have the same name. I, I find I, that hard to believe. What's your date of birth? Why are you on my phone line? This is my phone line. What's your phone number? This is this is my phone line. My phone rang, and and you're no, on my here. my phone rang. And you're talking about no. dead bodies or something. Like I think you're some kind of a scam artist. No, I'm not. I'd like to know who it is that's impersonating me and calling me on my home phone. Okay, well, I'm sorry to bother both of you, but which who, Walmart whoever, is this? Whoever had the cactus uh, at Walmart? Which Walmart it's... are you? Okay, ma'am, you don't have to yell at me. I, I'm just calling. I'm to not le- yelling. I'm asking a question. What Walmart are okay, you? Okay, I'm just calling to let the real Leonora that the the cactus is ready, and she said that's fine, and I can just let you both go now, and you can figure it Where, out. Where? Which? Which Walmart is it? it it's the one that you came and uh, ordered the cactus from. You came here in person and paid for it already. No, so it's it's ready to be not. picked up. No, yes, then she, someone is impersonating me, no, and I don't appreciate it. No, you're impersonating me, lady. I don't know who the hell you no, are. You I'm need to really get the not. fuck off of my phone line. No, you need to get the fuck off of mine, honey, and you need to stop stealing other people's identity. I, th- this has been my name since birth. I, where do you really? live? And, I, yeah, I, where are you? I, I'm in Connecticut. Where are you? I'm in Connecticut, too. I'm on road. And, and no, you're, you're not on road, sweetheart. I'm standing right here on Cut it you, out. You are full. You are full of shit, ma'am. I, I don't. No, you are I full of shit. You. I will track you down. I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but I. I just. I just want to get my cactus. That, that's Unbelievable. all. Unbelievable. You've already given her too much information. No, she's already got it. She's claiming to Who be is that? at my address. What's your husband's name? My husband's name is Charles. So, yeah. So, no. No. What's your date of birth? It's, quit asking me. What are you, an identity thief? Stop asking me so many no, questions. No, you are, and I will find you. Trust me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what game you're playing, sweetie. I really don't. I, ju- I just, I, I ordered a ca- Is Walmart still on the line? Like, who, who do you have on the line? Is that someone there? No, ma'am. That, that's nobody here. That's on your end. Well, it's not on my end. She's not in my house. No, it's on my end. She's saying she lives at my address. Yeah, good luck. She's Come full step of, out your door. Go she's ahead. full of Come crap. On. What you, no, what you, you are. What, are you threatening me now? I, I just want to go no, to Walmart. No, I'm telling you to. I'm telling you to step out your door. If that's who you are, I will come step on. out my door. I'm going to step out my go door ahead. and go to Walmart and pick up my damn cactus. Mm-hmm. So you're going to go to the Walmart over in. Good. I'll meet you there. Oh, now, now this is just weird. Like you better not cause any problems. I just go in there no, to get my you cactus. You better stop causing problems. I don't know who you are, but I will find out. Well, if, you, if you two are going to fight, you need to stay out of our store. Because, you know, this is a Walmart. We, we can't have this kind of thing going on here. Yeah, no, this is called identity theft. But if that's the case, like I said, I will find out. You're the identity you. thief. No, you're you're the fake Leonora. No I'm the real one. No. Yeah, keep dreaming. You probably don't even have a cactus. <laughs> Let me tell you where I'm going to put that cactus on you, sweetie. Go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Tell me. Tell me where you're going to put it. Oh, meet me there. Go ahead. Meet me at the customer service desk. I, I think your husband's right. You need to shut the fuck up and get off the phone, lady. No, you need to shut the fuck up. Because I you're will saying, definitely report you. Well, you're saying your husband's name is Charles, and my husband's name is Charles. Yeah, no, you are a fake person. I am not a fake person. I, my, I This has been my name since birth. Who, who no. are you to say that I'm a fake person? You are a fake person. And you live at this, my address. This is a, this is a scam. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Go ahead with what? I'm, I'm going to Walmart right now. I can't wait. Okay, well, you need to stay the fuck out of the cactus department, because I'm going there to yeah. get my cactus. Go ahead. I'll see you there. Okay. Hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and this is a show where we call up people and say silly things to them, and we give them really fun stories to tell all of their friends and family. It's a public service, basically, that we're providing. People are especially bored today, and they need some fun stories to tell their friends, and that's what this show is all about. Did that sound convincing? I hope that sounded convincing. This show is brought to you by some people who support us on Patreon, like Dirty Syringe, The Stunning Kruger Effect, Chris J, Denmark is a real country, and Christine. It's because of them I almost didn't get this show done this week. I tried to do this on Friday and it didn't happen, so hopefully I can get this all done and edited today on Sunday, so I'm not a huge liar like I usually am, since I said I'd be doing another show this week. And don't tell me the week starts on Sunday. My week starts on Monday. If you think the week starts on Sunday, you're wrong. I have one announcement, I think. And that is that there is a brand new episode of GADS podcast, the one where we all get together and interview people. And the person he's interviewing takes calls from us who he thinks are listeners. And it looks like GAD released an episode four days ago. That's over on his YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck. It looks like this one is about hypnosis and I'm probably in there. Carol's probably in there. So please go listen to that. It looks like he's put out about five of those so far. And they've all been pretty good. I don't know about this last one. It might suck. This hypnosis one. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm sure it's amazing. And keep an eye on his YouTube channel because he's got lots more. I know we've done a lot already. And he's trying to release them, it looks like, every week or two. YouTube.com slash Jesus in a Dump Truck. I guess I should announce that I'm going to be gone for an entire week soon. That's going to start before the end of this coming week. So I'm going to try and get at least one more Hobo So done and at least one more Snowplow show done before that happens. I'm going to be gone for six days. I'll be driving somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where. Stay out of my business, damn it. But I'll be back in less than a week and I will start doing the shows again. And hopefully at that point, I'll be, you know, more settled into my new place. In case you missed it on previous shows, I have recently moved into a new place. So the Situation Room is no more. I'm in a brand new studio, which hasn't been named yet. I've been asking people in the Hobo Sodes to come up with a new name for the studio. I don't want it to be the Situation Room anymore because I'm tired of that name. And this is a different studio. It needs a different name. Thank you, everybody, for being patient with me during this entire process. It's been a long one. It's still ongoing. 
Tomorrow I'm going to go back to my old place again and do some more cleaning up and patching holes in the walls and replacing some light fixtures that I took with me and stuff like that. I've got until the end of the month to finish all this up. Luckily, I gave myself a lot of extra time to get all that done. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and we're going to do some calls. Hello. Oh, hi, Lucille. Oh, hi. Yes. Yeah, this is Lucille. It's Greg from the the Walmart. Hi. Oh. Hi. I'm sorry. Are there two people on the phone? Pardon me? I, 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 there's some other lady on the phone. Who's calling? This is, this is Grega from Walmart. Uh, you, you ordered some gardening supplies? Is this Lucille? No. Yes. Yeah, this is Lucille. I don't know who this other lady is. Do we have a cross, who? cross line or something? Hello? I'm Lucille. What, what? Oh no, you're not Lucille. I'm I'm Lucille. I ordered some gardening supplies from Walmart. Yeah, that, that's what I'm calling about. Uh, they're ready. <laughs> you can come and pick them up here at the service desk. But how did uh, you get my number? Well, ma'am, that, this is my number. I I don't know what you're talking about. I I'm Lucille. My, my what num- is your telephone number? Uh, my number is the seven five. Oh, two. I'm That's not, mine also. Well, I don't think so. That's impossible. I, I, I just ordered some. I've had this number for 35 years. Uh, so have I. Like, what, what are you trying to pull here, ma'am? I just ordered some gardening supplies from Walmart. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're trying to prove because this, I didn't order any. And that is my telephone number, 802. Okay. okay well, had it for just, 35 years. Okay, well, I, I don't understand okay, well, what's I don't going on. Hello? So she has a cell phone number listed also. So I wonder if I can call that and further the confusion. Hello? Hi, Lucille? Yes? It's Grega from Walmart again. I, I just, you know, you, you gave us both your phone numbers. I wanted to make sure I had the right Lucille and let you know that your gardening this supplies. This is crazy. This is crazy. Me? That lady said she <laughs> had my telephone and, and, this is, and now you're calling on my cell number. Well, I, I no, have, the, the, ma'am, this you, this is my cell phone number. What are you doing on my cell phone? You get off my line. Well, you get off of mine. Well, this I, is a corporate. This is a corporate telephone line. Yeah, and, and has been for years. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just letting you know that to come and pick up your gardening supplies that you ordered from Walmart. Well, you They're, tell who's ever on the other line who is not Lucille. I don't know what the hell her oh, name yes, is. Oh, yes, I am. But you I... tell her that 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 you tell her because I didn't know. Oh no, anything. you you okay. tell me yourself, lady. Bye. I don't know who you are. You're some kind of scammer. Well, that wasn't bad for the first one. I finally got to pick up. All right, actually, the second one, the first one didn't work out, but I'm definitely deleting that one. I'm calling from an old list that Devin sent to me. I think two years ago. It's a gardening list. And all it includes is the name and the phone number. And sometimes there's two phone numbers. There's a home and a cell phone number. But there's no address, unfortunately. And I guess I've called from this list before because half of them are crossed out. So I'm just going to use up the rest of this list and maybe do some crossed line connection call things and just see where this goes. Oh, weird. There's a male's name on this list. Most of these are females. I just need the name on the order then. Yeah, it's uh, Jerry. No, you've and, got the wrong number. I'm sorry, what? This is wrong number. Well, who are you, lady? Who are you looking for? This I, person it doesn't live here. I was talking to Jerry just now. No, yes. he's not here. I ma'am, don't know him. Ma'am, I, I'm Jerry, okay? I'm Jerry. Okay. All right. So, what are you doing on my phone? No, no. What? You get off my phone, lady. Yeah, I, I was no. trying to take Jerry's order, and you just no, no, jumped. No, no, no. This is wrong. You Thanks. just jumped in on the line. All right, I guess that number changed. Hello. Hi. Uh, I was calling for Beverly. This is the AT and T operator. I have a person-to-person call for Beverly. Yes. You made the get her. Oh yes, please. Hold on a second. Hello? 
Hi, Beverly. This is uh, Greg from the AT and T. You have a collect call. From who? This this is Beverly. I, I'm sorry. Who's this other lady? I'm Beverly. Uh, oh no. I, I was calling for Beverly. It's for a collect. Yeah. Co- for a collect call. Yes. No, I, I'm not gonna. I, I'm I, not gonna. I'm Beverly. Yes, I will accept the collect call. No, I'm Beverly. Then I will not. What? I, this is so confusing. Why are there two people on the phone? Because uh, there are two Beverly obviously. What's your maiden name? Well, uh, how can he be calling us both? Uh, which number what were you calling? What is your maiden name? Sir? What is your maiden Don't name? Don't you yell at me, ma'am. What, what sir? Sir? Ah. Hello? Hey, th- this is Beverly. Now you tell that lady to stop impersonating me. You got a different, wrong Beverly. Oh sorry. no, I'm Beverly. I'm the one that AT&T. That's it. My wife's Beverly. So okay. you got the wrong one. Well, she told the AT and T operator I wouldn't accept the charges, and 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 now I don't even know who was calling. I don't either. <laughs> okay. But my, my name's Beverly. Bye. So are you saying you don't accept the char? Okay, there he goes. People are hanging up way too quick. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has Aww. been disconnected or is no longer in service. Rest in peace, Anne. Hello? Hi, uh, I was calling from Maryland. This is Grega from Walmart. Uh, she's on a call right now. Can I take a message? This is her husband. Oh, wait. No, this is Maryland. It's okay, honey. I got it. Oh, okay. I was just calling to let you know that your order's ready. You can come here and pick it up at the service desk. <laughs> Order oh. for Maryland. Okay, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I'm Maryland. Uh, who's this? Why is there? Is there? there there's no, two, you're two, not. Two people you can on the phone. Another Maryland. <laughs> well, well, no, I'm. I'm. I, I don't know why there's two people on the phone. I, I just called to Maryland. Yeah, I don't no. either. Well, I, I'm Maryland. I don't know who this guy is, but I don't know him. I'm. I'm the wife of Maryland, so I don't know who you are. You're the wife of Maryland. I mean, as I a husband, I don't have me, a wife. Maryland. I don't. Like, have... I'm sorry, Maryland. Maryland's my my wife. Oh no, I'm not. I I don't even know this man. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I, Listen, I don't. Listen, sir. What what are, what are you trying to do? Well, what I, number did you call? I was well. I called this seven seven eight three. I asked that lady. Is that her that, number? That's my phone number. I, I don't know who this man is. He's he's trying uh, to you, you scam better, you. You, ma'am, you better get the hell off the line because you're you're, you're, you're lying. Oh, you, you get so off listen. my line. Like you you stop yeah, right. trying to tell everyone you're my husband. I'm I'm not even married. I don't know who you are, but but sir, well, I, um, the, the, what I, have you got? Well, whichever one of you ordered the gardening supplies, uh, you, you can come on over to the service desk and pick those up. They arrived uh, just this morning. Okay, all that's right. that's good. They were supposed to be there on Friday, and I was hoping to do gardening all weekend. So. <laughs> oh my gosh! See, he's, he's well, got yeah, an evil, is this a he's, Gloucester score? He's got a, you've got an evil laugh, even like why? Why are you trying to? <laughs> what are you trying to pull, sir? Is this some kind of a scam? <laughs> I don't, uh, sir. Are you at the Gloucester School? Is that where you're calling from? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can come All on. Right, thank come you. On. Well, you better not pick up my stuff, sir. That, that's my stuff. I paid for it already. Yeah. Right. Okay. What do you mean? Bye. Yeah. Right. I paid for it. I'm going to pick it up. All right. I have Marilyn's cell phone, but she's apparently on a call. So let's try that and see if she picks up. Your call has been forwarded ah, to an automated voice messaging system. Marilyn's not picking up on her cell phone. I tried her three times. I was hoping to annoy her into picking up, but it didn't work. So I guess we'll move on to the next person. I'm now on the last page of this list. Hello? Hi, Bonnie. Yes. It's Suzanne down the street. Hey, can can you stop coming over here in my backyard and planting things in my garden? I'm sorry. All right, what? <laughs> I, I just, no, it's not funny. You stop laughing. I don't want you to plant things in my garden anymore. I'm but, not planting anything in your garden. I can't even manage to plant any in mine, so. Well, I, I, I'm, like, I'm not really into gardening anymore. I know my garden looks like a mess, but that you don't need to come over here and be filling out my, you know. Where are you? Where do you live? Just down the street. So you just stop coming over here and. Planting things in my garden. Why are you laughing at me? You it's not funny. You don't live down the road from me. Oh, yes, I do. This is Suzanne. Suzanne not- who? I don't know any Suzanne. 
Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't really even know you either. You don't need to be coming down here and plant things in my garden. <laughs> Is this a joke? It's not a joke. <laughs> Maybe you think it's a joke, but I, I just... You know, I don't. There, I do not. It's a little creepy. Plant, you, have the, you have the wrong number. Hey, ma'am, th- you, th- th- this is Suzanne's husband. Can you please just, <laughs> you're really upsetting her. She, she doesn't want you out there. And to be honest, it's a little weird that you're planting things in her garden. Well, this, this is a little weird. Are, do you live in Tappahannock? That's what the... Uh, yeah, of course we do. I live in King William. No, we, we live in King William. She, she's just mad. She doesn't want to tell you where we live. But we, we know you know where we live. Can you, can you please just stop planting stuff in our garden, okay? Well, I can't stop doing something I'm not doing. Well, we so. know you're doing it. We, we have a, a security camera and a doorbell camera. So you, okay, well, you I have... stop planting things in my garden, lady. <laughs> See, she's just laughing at me again. Ma'am, why are you laughing at, at her? Because I don't plant anything in anyone else's garden. Well, I would hope I never you. have, and but, I never will. Well, you keep I don't, planting stuff in our garden. I have garden. to have some. I know. I, I, I don't. Oh, so you do know? You you know that you do it then? Well, no, it I, it's not that it bothers me. It's just it's bothering Suzanne. So just, just please cut it out. We don't want to have to put a lock on the gate keep you out. Well, put as many locks on the gate as you want. Well, no, we don't want I to. Don't... We don't want to. We, we, you know, we, it's, it, we like the easy access back there. But it, it, this? it's a little weird if you're... This is a riot. I wish I were recording this conversation. You, no. Um, you can't record us. We, well, we don't give you permission to record. You live in... You're calling uh, from a 443... Ma'am. Very, ma'am. Which is up in Tappahannock. Listen and I here, don't live ma'am. in Tappahannock. Listen here. That's where we used to live. I'm sure you know this already, but we moved, and now we live here in Kings Village. In where? Oh, you heard me. So you just, no, you just stay, stay you, the hell out of you, our garden, lady. You fumbled it. Oh, I did not. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't fumble what, shit. What road, what road are you on in King William? Well, what road are you on? I'm not saying. Well, I'm not saying either. Now, look, I don't want to. I don't want to be friends with you or anything. You, you just stay away from our house and stay out of my garden. Well, God. I never have set foot in your garden, and I never will. So no I have no idea who you are or bullshit, where you are, lady. Bullshit. You know, bullshit. How much have you had to drink today? I do not drink. I am too old to be drinking. You're the one that must be drinking, coming over here and planting stuff in our garden. That's not even stuff we would eat either. What exactly am I planting in your garden? What? You're, You're planting tobacco plants. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we can't smoke. We're, we're too old to smoke. This is, gets better and better. Tobacco. Well, I'm glad you think this is such a... grown mostly in Southside Virginia, and you have to glad ask you permission. Think this is such a joke. To, oh, it is a joke. It is not a joke. You just stay... You all are hilarious. Stay the hell out of our garden. <laughs> I have never been in your garden, and I never will be. All right. So. Bonnie, I'm hanging up. Uh, you, you listen oh, here. You, you eat shit. <laughs> Got it. Well, you're full of it, so. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't believe you. You're that. full of it. All right. Bye. Bye, Bonnie. We love you. <laughs> love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you. What the hell? A gardening list and she doesn't even garden? What is this bullshit you've sent me, Devin? Hello? Hi. Allison? Yes. Th- this is Carol down the street. You need to stop coming over here and planting things in my garden. Who who is this? Sorry, what? Who is this? Uh, This is Carol Gersperms down the street. If if you could just stop coming in our backyard and and messing around in my garden and, and, like, weeding my garden and stuff, that's weird. We don't want you back here. I don't know. You must have the wrong number. Oh, no, I... Is is this Allison's... Where do you live? 
just down the street. You just stay out of our backyard, okay? That's my garden. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I know I don't take care of my garden like I used to, but I don't have time, but that doesn't mean you can just come in here and plant in my garden. I didn't do any, I don't even know who you are. Oh, this is Carol Gersperm. You, you know exactly who this is, or, or do you plant in everyone's garden? I don't even know who, what, who are you and what garden are you talking about? I'm talking about the garden in my backyard. I, I haven't worked on it in years. It's overgrown, but you keep going back there and weeding it. And just, just leave it alone, okay? Just, just stay out of there. I haven't been in anybody's garden, and I don't know who you are. Oh, Where yes. do you live? Which house are you? I'm, we're just down the, you know which house it is. Because I know you're not doing this to everybody's house. I've asked around. I don't even know who you are. Look, we, we, we just, we don't want to lock up our back gate, but, but we will if we have to. If you keep doing this, we're going to lock up our back gate. What back the, gate? The, the, the gate in our backyard that surrounds my garden. So you just stay away from that garden, lady. I don't I even know who you. you are. I don't know who you are. But well, I don't even know how you got my number. I, it's on the internet, so just just stay out of my backyard, okay, Allison? Well, where's, where's your backyard so I know how to stay out of it? Well, just stay out of everyone's backyard, unless it's your own backyard. You're crazy. Oh, I'm not crazy. You're the one coming in our backyard and planting turnips and stuff. I don't even eat turnips. Hey, turnips in your backyard? Why, why would you plant turnips? It's not even turnip season. You're, you are nuts. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, bullshit. I, I haven't don't. been in your backyard. I don't even know who you are. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been in your backyard. i got enough backyard of my own. Okay, well, that, that's nice, honey. You just stay out of my backyard. And quit lying to me about it. It, it doesn't even make sense that you're... No, you're not making any sense. You're not making any sense. Coming to my backyard and planting turnips. Planting turnips in your backyard. This is the first. What? I don't even know. I don't even know where your backyard is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's something that a guilty person would say, trying to cover your tracks. <laughs> oh, I'm having tracks to cover. Where's your backyard? You, you need to get out. a life. And and I can't even hear what the fuck you're saying because you're on speakerphone. Well, I don't know who where you're talking about. Are you, you walking away out? from the speakerphone? That makes it harder for me to hear you. I can hear you just fine. Well, I can't hear you, so. Anyway, well, just, tell me where your backyard. Tell me where your backyard is, so I'll stay out. Of it. It's directly behind my house. Now you just stay out, okay? All right, where's your house, so I know to stay out of it? It's it's in front of the backyard. All right, where's where is your house, so I know to stay out of it? Do you do you butt up to my property? Is that why? No, I'm nowhere. I'm down the street. I already told you that. So you just stay away from everyone else's backyard. You, you just stay on the public what, sidewalk. What? Where? Where? Where's your? Where's your house? Where, what do you live on? Okay, Allison, listen here. Fuck you. Stay out of my yard. I'm hanging up now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you tell that stupid husband of yours to shut the fuck up. I'm going to plant watermelons back there. <laughs> I'm going to plant me some watermelons all in your backyard. You better not plant watermelons in my backyard. It's already full of turnips thanks to that stupid wife of yours. Well, she likes turnips. I bet she does. She sounds like somebody that would like turnips. Fucking weirdo. Yeah, yeah. Goddamn yeah, yeah. weirdo. Ain't it great? You must be a Democrat. How dare you call me a Democrat? <laughs> That's what you sound like. You, you sound like a Democrat. I bet you're both oh, Democrats. Yeah. Hail the Biden. Hail Biden. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Fucking Biden worshippers. <laughs> Only a Biden person would eat turnips and watermelons. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't forget the fried chicken. And while you're at it, stay out of my yard. You better stop planting fried chicken in my yard. I didn't know you could plant fried chicken. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go in your yard. Your yard's your, your yard's ugly. All right, bye. I'm hanging up. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. Well, that got pretty weird. It seemed like she was pretty pissed until the husband came around and started cracking his jokes about planting those fried chicken plants. This next person is named Marty, which I don't think that's a female's name, but I guess males can garden too, I suppose. 
Hello? Hi, is this Marty? Yeah. Hey, Marty. It's it's uh, Steve Dave from the Walmart. Oh, okay. Hi. It's who? Right. It, it's Steve Dave from Walmart. I was calling to let you know that your uh, your scarecrow is ready for your garden. Oh, okay. That's great. I was wondering when that was going to arrive. What in the world is going on? Wait, I'm sorry. Are there two people on the phone? I I, I called yeah. Marty. I called Marty. Well, I'm Marty. And I'm in Richmond, and I don't know. Oh no, you're no, no, no. I don't know who this lady is. I'm Marty. I live in Richmond. Oh, okay. Well, whichever one of you ordered the scarecrow for your garden, it's uh, it's ready. You can just come to the customer service desk and pick that up. I didn't order a scarecrow. Wait, who are you, lady? I I ordered the scarecrow. It's for my garden. I'm a gardener. Okay, have it, have it. Goodbye. Okay, well, who are you on my phone? Hey. Hello. Hi, Suzanne? Yeah, yes. this, this is Suzanne. Oh, hey there. I'm sorry, is there two people on the phone? I'm calling from Walmart. This is Brad. I, I heard another lady. Um, is, are, I, I don't know. Yes, I, my name is Suzanne also. Oh, well, my name's um, Suzanne... And so yeah. is mine. Well, that that's who I'm calling for is Suzanne. Uh, you ordered a scarecrow for your garden. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm a gardener. I don't think okay, this other... Okay, you're the... What? You're the one that must have done it because I, I don't have uh, a garden and I didn't order a scarecrow from Walmart. Well, well, why are you on my phone then? I, I don't understand. Yeah, I just called one number, uh... Why are there two people what? on this phone? I, I dialed this. What? What? What number did you call? I'm in Montana. Oh, okay. Yeah, I dialed three f- zero three. Yeah, that that's my and number, that's, and I'm in Montana too. I used to live in Virginia. Well, th- this well, is weird. Uh, yeah, th- this is the Walmart here in Montana. Like, uh, w- which did one of you want to pick this up then? I, I didn't order anything from I, I well man why, why are you stealing my phone number how can you have my phone number that's my phone number oh what the hell she just hangs up hello oh hey uh, I guess we got disconnected I was talking to uh, Suzanne this is Brad from Walmart yeah th- this is Suzanne I, who's that man on the phone though I heard someone else say hello yeah I heard that too yeah, this is the sheriff's department. Oh, okay. Well, I, I wasn't trying to call the sheriff's department. I'm trying to call Suzanne. Well, this so is I Suzanne know, Thomas. I, I don't know how we, the, the, these scammers are answering my phone. The seven right. three. That's my number. Which, which sheriff? Ah, shit. I was getting ready to lecture him on impersonating the police, but he hung up. We're at the very end of this list. I've got, I don't know, less than a dozen numbers to call. I hope these are enjoyable. Not a lot of people are getting super pissed off. They're all just laughing with me and making jokes and pretending to be the sheriff. Hello. Hi, is uh, Johanna there? No, who's calling? Uh, this is Carol down the street. Oh, down 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 the I'm street. Sorry. This is um, Glenn. I'm the I'm the son-in-law. Oh, okay. Will Will she be back soon? Then I can um, call. Call uh, later. Carol, she she um, she passed away uh, before New Year's. Oh my goodness! I had no idea. Oh. Well, that's a bummer. I was going to ask for my shovel back. Oh, well, your your shovel's probably here somewhere. Okay. Oh shoot! 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 I turned into a male. <laughs> Fuck! Damn it! I did not mean to press that button. Rest in peace, Johanna. Hello. Hi, Millie. Yes. Listen here, Millie. You need to stop telling people I don't know how to grow squash. This is Carol down the street. Who? It's Carol down the street. Down what street? Listen here, Millie. You just stop telling people that I don't know how to grow squash. Because that's bullshit. I, I, don't know know, how... I don't know who you are. Uh, I'm, I'm a fellow gardener. I'm, I'm in the gardening club with you. So listen here, just just tell people. Wait, j- just, what you, whoa, what, wait, wait a minute. What? I don't, I don't know you. Well, I barely even know you either, so I don't know why you'd be telling people I don't what, know how to grow squash. I don't, 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who you are. Bullshit. And I don't know, and I don't know down what street that you're talking about. Just down the street from and you. I, where? What do you mean where? I'm in the brick house. I mean where? In what house? Hey, you tell that man of yours just to shut the fuck up. I have no idea who you are or what you want. I want you to stop telling people I don't know how to grow squash. I, I don't know you. I'm hanging up. Oh, you better not hang up. Hello? Hi, Ginevra. Who? Is, it, is this Ginevra? Who, who's calling, please? This, this is Carol down the street. Listen here, lady. You need to clean up that garden of yours. It's causing bugs to come in my garden. What? Your garden. You need to clean up all that rotten stuff you're planting in your garden because it's making all these garden bugs come into my garden. Who is this? Uh, this this is Carol down the street. Carol Gersberms. Carol who? Gersberms. I, I, I don't know what you're talking as in, about. As in, I love Gersberms. Just a minute. What? Hello? I'm sorry, I dropped the phone. Oh, hi. Hello? Hey, listen here, sir. You tell that wife of yours that I'm tired of all her garden bugs coming over into my yard. You make her clean uh, up her clean up her garden. Right here. Oh, Who no. do you think you're talking to? Uh, this is the losers. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And where are, what bugs are coming over? Where do you live? Oh, all kinds of invasive gardening bugs. Like they're, they're getting on all my stuff, and, and they're coming from your place. I tracked it down. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I mean, it does what you, where, where, What's your name? And, and does she even go back there and look at her garden anymore? Because, cause like, it's a mess back there. I, I went back there and looked, and she needs to take care of her garden, or, or at least, you know, uproot all that gross stuff. I don't know what you're... You, you've got the wrong people. Our garden is fine. It's not uh, got bugs in it or anything. Well, yeah, that's because uh, all the bugs are coming over to my garden, and my garden's much better than your garden. I know where, it's all... Where do you live? Uh, just down the street a little bit. You know, the Gersperms residence. Near the whose residence? The Gersperms residence. Who are they? What, what's your address? What do you need my address for? Well, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. I Weird. already told Boy. you. It's Carol Gersperms, just down the street in the brick house. Carol, what's the name? Carol Gersperms. All right, so you tell that wife of yours, you tell her to clean up her damn garden right now. Well, what is your name again? Would you give me that? Oh, my God, I've told you a billion times. My name is Carol Gersperms. Dearth Burns, D-I-R-T-H-B-E-R-N-S? Exactly. Okay. So you, well, I- you fix your garden, sir. If she won't do it, you need to do it yourself. I think you're making a big mistake. I don't think there's anything wrong with our garden. Well, except I don't it's, think... it's got a bunch of crazy garden bugs, and they keep coming over to my house. I, I you know, I, I don't, it, it, I think this is crazy. You're, you're making the I, whole neighborhood look like a bunch of hobos. You're bringing down the property values. I'm going to hang up. You better not. Don't you, you know what, I have. This lady's cell phone. I don't know what her name is. Gin, Ginevra? Is that it? Let's see if she picks up her cell phone. Hello? Also, those dumb gardening bugs, they're coming in my window. They're getting in my, in my window, and they're, they're crud. All right, that was the very last one on the list, so the show is officially over. And now we're going to play some voicemails. Hey. Hey. Just hang up the phone. No. I'm not playing around. Hang up the phone. I, I won't do it. No, I'm not. All right, that's enough of this. This goes on for 30 seconds. It's just the same thing, just like my hang up the phone calls. <clears throat> um, uh, um, uh, um, hi, Brad. I'm just calling to say hi. Hey. Um, and, I, um, and I also have a few questions. Uh, uh, cool. uh, do you have another full job uh, other than no. the Snowfall Show? No. Um, and do you also have, um, have a Thanks fan- to you, people. I'm doing prank calls full time, which is kind of awesome. Thanks, family? everybody. Um, and do you also um, have a family? Our, um, our, uh, test, test tube baby here, sorry. Do, do, um, in your free time. Okay, bye. Um, I'm trying to stay under for the 30 seconds. You did it. All right, bye. 
yep, I have family. Some of them are around here. Some of them are in other states. They're all over the place. And I don't know what I do for fun. You know, just normal things like playing on the internet. And wow, I don't really do anything now that I think about it. I play too much GTA. I used to go outdoors a lot before COVID. I should start doing that again. Hey, Brad, it's me, deep in the heart of Texas. Hey. Uh, I'm driving right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, hey, I just listened to my voicemail on 699, so okay. Uh, That's great. It seems to be my fault for not following up on snow flash shows. It's really odd because even your YouTube one in the subscription, it doesn't show up. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll have to keep separate feeds uh, based on your advice. I have to have one feed for Snowfall Show and then one feed for uh, Hobo Toes. That's kind of uh, it's going to be it's kind of retarded. I'm not going to lie that wow. it has to be separated, but it's whatever. You can't be using the retarded word here in 2021. That's not cool. Deep in the heart of attacks. Wait, deep in the heart of deep in the heart attacks is what it says in the Google translation. Your voicemail's long. I'm not playing all of that. Hey, Brad. Hey. Uh, first time caller, long time listener. Okay. Um, I'm hoping you can give me a hand. Me and my wife are trying to find a prank phone call that involves somebody calling a bookstore and then asking for a book, and then they connect another bookstore, and then they ask for a different book, but it rhymes with the first book, and then they just keep calling different bookstores. Okay. It's friggin' hilarious, and I can't find it. I, don't I know you're you. a prank phone call expert, so I just wanted to see if you'd know. Uh, one of the things they hey, tell that wife of yours just to shut up. I hear her in the background. Find it with was Lima Bean and Charlie Sheen. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't know. You should call. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Although you should do that prank phone call. Cause that that sounds no, funny. No, I'm All not right, doing bye. It. You can't make me. But I, but I. But I, but I. Hey, you uh, This is this is me just uh, testing testing out my my phone. <laughs> I, I, I accidentally damaged my old phone. Uh, I think it was it was on a table, then the, then coffee coffee spilt on the phone. So I tried to what clean it under the sink, but then because I got too much water in it, it, it never worked. I was like, no, <laughs> I was like, oh no, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Anyway, I was I was looking for a song, but I, I'll, it, it goes for like that. Yeah, All right, I'm going to play that at the end of the show. Thanks, Nobby Guy, for calling in. I know exactly what song you mean. Hey, this is the missionaries for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Okay. We know that God loves you. We know that you, we have a message you know for that? you and that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. You don't know this for we sure. We hope that each of you will, will reach out and try to come closer to Him. And we, um, we know that you can do that through... All right, I will do that. I'm right on top of that, Rose. Thanks for the call. Hey, Brad. Um, just listened to the uh, Best Of show. Good shit. Um, Thanks. I thought it was great. I think you got that guy with the Vaseline in this hotel room. <laughs> Definitely got kicked out. No. Uh, but anyways. Because she would have gone to his room and seen that there's no Vaseline anywhere, and he's denying that he called, so he didn't get kicked out. He's fine. To my question. Right. I you mean, get, fine, other than he's living in a motel. Yelled at on a daily basis by so many people. Do you ever have dreams of getting yelled at or, like, doing prank phone calls? Or do you ever have I ideas for pranks? I have definitely to- gotten ideas for pranks from dreams. But, no, most of my dreams don't involve prank calls or getting yelled at. I just have the standard, basic, weird dreams that anybody has, I think. To you in dreams. So I guess my question is, what you dreaming about? Oh, crap. You All right, thanks, tricked but- me into answering that. Fuck. See ya. Oh, this is Cody from Texas, by the way. I know. Hi, yeah. I've got you saved in my address book. I know your number, motherfucker. And I'm surprised I don't have more dreams about prank calls. You'd think I would, but that's pretty rare. Hi, Brad. Hey. This is Clay. Hey. You remember me? No. Maybe. Hi. I don't know. I uh, was just calling because I stopped by, and I guess I missed you. I've been knocking on the door, and I moved. I've been uh, looking in the window. I don't live there anymore. Didn't see you through the window. Yep. And just uh, stopping by to say hi. All right. So yeah, um, sorry, I'm not there. I moved. I'm gonna enjoy people not knowing where I live for a little while. Until somebody figures it out again, like they always do. And then it'll all start over again. I'll start getting pizzas and taxis and 
People putting shit on my door and on my car. I can't wait for that to happen. It's always nice these first few months, though. Hey, hello, Brad. This is this is MC. I wanted to say hey. you mentioned that during calls you actually do laugh. You know, it's hard to keep it. It's keep true. It, um, um, serious. And then after calls, you also laugh. And actually, in that you use the mute button a lot. Actually, the the times where I hear you laugh makes me laugh too. So yeah. a suggestion is that. Um, you don't don't hit the mute button. Maybe one of the shows you do that and see how much people bitch about it. But yeah, I love hearing you laugh. It makes me happy. Uh, thank Aww. you so much for making life more fun for everybody. You're Take welcome. Care. I leave all the good laughing in there. Just seriously, there's there's a lot of me just snickering for a while after prank calls. Sometimes, occasionally, it'll go on for you know half a minute or something. You guys don't want to listen to half a minute of me just giggling, do you? That's that's no fun. Hey, Brad, Roy, and Steve, Dave. Hey. It's Brown Teresa from Buffalo, New York. Hello. Love, love, love listening to your podcast. Hey. I actually joined Patreon and you did not say my name. It's about but it's time. Cool. I see how it is. I'll continue to listen anyway. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good day. Ah, yeah, I've been terrible at saying Patreon names that join up lately. And I'm sorry. I should start doing that again. So welcome to Patreon, Brown Teresa. Thanks for signing up. Brown Teresa is one of the many people who got to hear two extra shows this week for a total of four shows. There was two hobo shows, and then there's the best of show. I don't know if you count that one. And then this one. Hey, Brad. Uh, I just became a patron. Yay. Yay. I have a job now. That's um, great. It's been a long time. You know, a lot's changed since I started listening to you. Anyway, like so the what? movie in the hobo show recently. What? What changed? Um, that he's talking about squeal like a pig boy. That's from Deliverance. It's about these canoers oh. that want to canoe on this this river. Okay. Um, I know well, the movie Deliverance. I feel like I know a lot of the plot. I've seen the banjo picking scene on YouTube. I've never watched it before, but I've always meant to. I know it's probably an important movie to watch. One last time before it, it's dammed up, and there are some weird uh, inbred hillbillies. Yeah. Um, pretty good, but it's like one of those uh, novel-feeling movies where there's not really a rising... Climax, falling action kind of structure yeah. feels kind of uh, I get it all at once or slow. It yeah. is good though. Anyway, bye. It's really old looking. That's what I know about it. Looks like it was made in the 70s or something. Oh my God, Brad! I am so excited. That's I got to tell you, I am happier than Michael Jackson at a daycare. Mm. I found. A song on Carlito's show that I've been looking for forever. Oh, it sounds reminiscent of something you might hear on The Price is Right. It was uh, MF Doom, his Special Herbs album thing, oh, okay. and it's called White Willow Bark. If you go on... Uh, you okay, we're going to listen to this real quick. Just a very small clip of it because somebody was asking for this. I don't remember if it was you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know this song. Here, let me go forward a little bit. That's awesome show music. And I'm not going to play anymore. I don't want to get my YouTube restricted on this video. Hopefully that didn't do it. And if it did, God damn it, butthole winker. YouTube, uh, where we ought to know. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's I, I found all of like MF Doom's like best little loops. And it's like there's like a shit ton of them. And... Called White Willow Bark. Anyway, I'm so happy. Okay. Bye. Now you all know MF Doom. Hey, what's going on, Brad? Hey. It's uh, uh, Punk Queen. Hey. Except now it's Dead X Punks, and I left the uh, Discord. I just wanted to say that, uh, hey, guess this reference real quick, and everyone else also listening, guess this reference real fast. Uh. I'm not going to say where the show's from or what have you, the reference. What? So, <laughs> what? Right. You little guru. You, uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, you beef stew, right? That's it. All right, okay. love you guys. Peace. Hey, everybody, uh, guess the reference. I am not going to win this game because I don't know what that was. I'm still a huge fan of prank calls. I haven't called in a long ass time, but I figured, you know, why not? Um, yeah. I'm still keeping up. Yeah. I just left the Discord and what have you. Um, yeah. I heard that uh, recently you had to. You left all of Discord and what have you. Yeah, fuck um, Discord. Which I have, you know. I mean, not, it, Discord's fine. It's just not for me. I can't handle chat rooms. I did the same thing with IRC. I completely abandoned an IRC years ago. Too much drama, and it all comes to me. It's it sucks. I haven't. But I mean, I have listened to certain 
phone loses Discord, what have you. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to get cut off. This may be longer than 30 seconds. Yeah, this is like a minute. I'm cutting it off right now. And if anyone wants to join any of the Discords, there's still a bunch of them linked over at phonelosers.com slash Discord. And also, I think, on worldofprankcalls.com slash Discord. But those are probably the same lists. Go there. Join the Discord. Say hi to everyone. Try not to lose your mind with all the drama like I do. I am so behind on voicemails. I'm going to at least finish up May. I know this is a lot of voicemails, but we're all the way back to May 7th right now. So we're almost done. Let's see what else is in here. Brad! Hey! What the fuck is going on with your voice? What do you mean? I don't know. Uh, what? Like six. What the fuck's going on with you? You're just muttering and stumbling episodes, along. Your voice cracks. Oh, yeah. You're just getting older. That usually happens when I'm Carol, I've noticed. Fuck your 30 seconds, okay? Okay. That's funny because your voicemail is exactly 30 seconds long, but only because you talk so slow. And yeah, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm getting older. My voice is changing. I'm getting hair in really weird places. It's it's a mess. Um, hi, Brad. I just, uh, hi, I'm just calling. You already called today. What the hell? I, I just tried calling the heat, uh, oh, the he and I of full machine. It says it's down. Oh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to uh, pull to let you know. It's true. Um, and say hi. It okay, is, goodbye. It is down. And that's because uh, I moved. So I think it's back up now, right? I mean, the answering machines are still down. I have not hooked up any of the answering machines to the line. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's the phone system that you can call into and there's some voice options and you can hack old answering machines that used to be in my kitchen. They're currently in a box in the garage. Let's call the number and see if it picks up. All circuits are busy now. Oh, shit. Please try your call again later. I thought it would work now. Does it still not work? It should work. All circuits are busy now. It's hooked up. All circuits are busy now. Oh, okay. I, I guess I will have to work on that. Wait, is it just because I'm calling it from Asterix? Let's try on my cell phone. 508-608-6123. That's the number. And what happens when I call it? Oh, okay. Fast busy. I thought it's been back up for several days now, but apparently it hasn't been. So I will look into that tonight. I don't know why it wouldn't be working. I, it's plugged in. That's what I've been using all day today to, to make calls. I guess maybe because my IP address changed. Do the incoming calls not work when that happens? That's weird. I don't know what the problem is. But when that guy left the message, uh, it definitely wasn't up then. This was like a week ago. Hey, Roy, this is Honey Badger from Michigan. Hey. Huge fan of your show, man. Long time listener. Thanks. Good job. Keep it up. Thank you. Hello, Roy. Hey. It's great to hear from you. I just wanted to what? call and say there's no pleasure. You called me, motherfucker. It was really great. You're a great, great show. Thanks. And I also just wanted to say fuck. So keep up the great work, sir. Okay. Bye, right. Brad. I will. Thanks for the voicemail. The shot and fart from YouTube. I just wanted to know... When you're doing uh, prank calls, what kind of equipment are you using? Thank you. Uh, I just made a video, actually, that explains all the equipment. I don't know if I made that public yet, though. I put it on Patreon. So just sign up on Patreon, and you can look at it from there. I made a video last week showing off my studio that was mostly taken apart because I was getting ready to move. And I guess the main thing I use is a Zoom L12 mixer. That's the mixing board and then a Roland VT3. That's what does the voice change and changes my voice, voice into Carol. And a listener donated a fancy microphone to me last year. It's a Shure SM7 or SM7A. I don't know what the difference is between all the different letters, but it's a lot fancier than the microphone I was using for a full decade before that. In fact, I noticed the difference when I was putting together that best of show. You could tell when I switched over. You can see what part of the year it happened in back in 2020. And there's a bunch of other stuff, but I'm going to try and link to that in the show notes. I'll link to the video of the tour. But there's somewhere, I think, here, let me look on snowplowshow.com. And I'm going to click on about the show. And it shows you some outdated pictures of the studio. But I guess you have to go to this other page to actually see the various video tours of the studio. Because there's been one every year, except for 2020. I forgot. For the past few years, there's been one every year. So here's where you go. You go to phonelosers.com slash FAQ. And there's a section in there that says, how do you record and broadcast your phone calls? And... It looks like I have the current mixer listed. There's a couple paragraphs, explains what I use, 
And then there are about six video tours of my studio. So I will have links to all that stuff on snowplowshow.com in the show notes of this show if you want to go check those out. Hey, Brad. It's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois. And wow, 700 episodes. What a milestone that we've reached. Yeah, it's I, I'm crazy. so glad that uh, we can look back on the last year and get a, a best of episode. Those are phenomenal. I'm so glad that you're in a spot where you can do more episodes. I think doing 100 episodes a year is, is really great. Me so too. we just want to let you know. How Although much. I did fall pretty short of 100 this past year. As most of you have noticed, my schedule keeping has really sucked lately. But I'm going to try my best to do 100 over the next exact year. Hopefully that happens. We appreciate all the work. Too you short. Do. I always listen to your show. I seem to be playing constantly on my drives to and from work. But uh, That's great. keep up the good work. Thanks so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right, Brad. Happy anniversary. Have a good week. Make good choices. Bye. The 700th show anniversary. All right. Last voicemail of May. Hey, Brad. This is Frank Garrett from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Hey. And uh, I don't understand how the hell any of you have ever been able to understand what Navi Guy is saying. I'm sorry, Navi Guy. I really am. But I, I've never been able to, and it's been about five years. Yeah, I, I bear it. it. takes me a while. Sometimes I don't catch what he's saying until later when I'm doing my editing. I don't think I knew what was going on today. I don't know why I put up with it. Fucking Navi Guy. Letting him call in and be a weirdo on the voicemails. All right, so it looks like I have a ton of voicemails in here from April. Maybe I'll try and play those on the next show. So I'll do another really long voicemail segment. And then there are a few from March. Actually, there's quite a few from March. I'm doing terrible lately with everything. I'm backed up on the emails and everything. I know I have a ton of emails that I need to get to. And some of you have been ordering coins and stickers. It's been a couple of weeks since I've sent those out. I'll get to those soon, hopefully before I take off for my trip this coming week. Hope you enjoyed all those voicemails. Thank you for listening to the show today, everyone. Thanks to the sponsors of today's show, Dirty Syringe, The Stunning Kruger Effect, Chris J, Denmark is a Real Country, and Christine. They support the show on patreon.com slash phone losers, and you should too, because if you did, you would have heard two extra shows this week. I try to do at least one extra show every week, and most of the time I succeed. At least on those, I'm not falling behind. I'm doing okay on those. It's the snowplow shows I gotta catch up with. So sign up, get extra shows. Thanks for listening, everybody. Here's a song by Haley Hayden Durick XX. I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't smoke dope!